be one, be only Brie Brickyana, your poo. Morning. Let me set this up. been in front of a camera in forever what's up y'all it's your girl Bri and i am and today i am here to give you guys a life update this is long overdue y'all as y'all can tell from my last vlog i've been so busy by the way if you haven't already seen that make sure you go watch that but um anyway i just want to get on here and kind of just update y'all uh, just trying to like get in the habit of communicating with y'all and basically just inform y'all um about how the rest of this semester is gonna go so without further ado i'm just gonna get right into the video the first thing that i want to discuss is the coronavirus so recently um the break just ended and um it was announced that we will be um on quarantine or we will be restricted from going to campus or continuing face-to-face -face classes for two weeks but um as things got worse a lot of people were traveling to like miami and just for those who are going to be traveling out of the country the president just wanted to keep it safe so um we are now continuing uh the online class thing not just for two weeks for the remainder of the semester um so like what does that mean for my channel what does that mean for you guys content all of that good stuff um yeah uh as of now there probably won't be any more like famu like party college related videos however i am gonna try my best to continue to put out videos related to famu um as well as like some type of vlogs because i like doing vlogs for y'all and i got a lot of feedback as far as continu continuously doing vlogs it's a lot it's it's different uh we're not meeting face to face for classes so we're meeting like online through this uh, the software called zoom and it's basically facetime y'all i don't like it like i really do miss going to class going to campus like as much as i started to like hate it y'all i i've grown to love it so it was it's definitely a change it's definitely different so that's that well technically the semester is over as far as like school and the coronavirus and just to give you guys an insight and an update so the summer is going to be basically starting early and I'm just going to be basically working on myself, trying to get um, a job, but not only like a job, I really want to get an internship to get a job this summer, save up a lot of money and get me another car. Um, I love my bestie with all my heart. That is my girl. She's my ride or die. We done been through everything together, but it's time. It's, it's just, it's time to give her up. So yeah, that's my goal for this summer to get a job and just save up money and get me in the car. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I haven't been in like a real relationship since 2018. Um, I was dating my little high school sweetheart, whatever, and we broke up because it was just, it was bad. It was horrible. All we did was argue and, um, it was just bad and I'm glad that's over, <laughs> but yeah, that was, that's old news. But that was like my last real relationship. But um, I've been entertaining people since then. I met some people like in Tally. I, I met some people in Tally. Like I met some people at FAMU. But um, the thing with fam dating here at FAMU, like y'all just, you you never know. You got people all over the world. You got people all over like Florida, different people coming from different cities, different states. So you're dealing with a lot of different personalities and Y'all, let me just let y'all know, like, dating here at FMU is, is not, it's not, like, that's, as far as, like, my dating life, y'all, I am kind of, like, entertaining somebody, if that makes sense. I'm kind of entertaining, <laughs> I'm kind of entertaining somebody, um, yeah, they make me, they make me really happy, they're annoying, but they make me really happy, but, uh, I don't know, I can't really speak on it right now, but just know, like, as time, you just let time do its thing. You just, you never have, you never know how things will play out. It's crazy, you know, entertaining people. 
so yeah as far as like my dating life because i don't kind of like feel y'all in i don't want to start getting more personal with y'all um, as far as my dating life yeah that's that's what it is i'm entertaining somebody i'm gonna make sure i keep y'all updated with how that goes because i do want to put them on a video one day <laughs> so yeah um that's that overall family experience with this being like my first year here. It was one heck of an experience, um, mainly because um, this is my first time like away from home, away from my like, family. So I kind of had to like get used to doing things on my own. I mean, I kind of was, but I don't know. I think I handled it. I handled it pretty well. It was just family. Like a lot of, I had very high expectations for family. So I think once I got here, they were so high. So when I got here, they didn't meet them, so I was just, I didn't like it here at first. Like the first month, it took me a few months to kind of like it here. Really, if I didn't have my roommates, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much as I did. Um, Yeah, the parties, overrated. I mean, I'm a party person, but to a certain extent. I met a select few of people, but really I met my roommates, which I could go on and on and talk about them for the rest of the video. Like, I love my roommates, y'all. Like, they're like my family. My sisters, like, I love them. It's something special about every single one of them. I love them so much. They mean so much to me, even though sometimes I can get on my last nerve. I love them, every single one of them. I love them, and I'm so grateful that I was blessed to have, like, the roommates that I did have, because I could've got a bad batch of roommates, but God blessed me with the roommates that I did have, and, you know, I love them and I'm glad I was able to meet them because if I, like I said earlier, if I didn't meet my roommates, I probably wouldn't have liked my experience here. When it comes to meeting people here, you kind of just got to be open to applying yourself as far as like getting involved because if you don't get involved, if you're the type of person who will be going to class to come home, you probably won't have the opportunity to meet people. So you kind of got to get involved in order to meet people. But as far as like, people on campus I mean I met people from class you're gonna meet people like from your classes but nine times out of ten once um, the semester is over and you go into the next semester you may still be friends with them and like talk to them but for the most part like the people that I met like in my classes I still see them on campus and I follow them on social media like we still speak and you know and I have um, people that I knew like back home so I see them and chill with them here every now and then so whole thing of making friends and meeting people say in a way I was kind of beating myself up about it because I expected to meet people and make friends the first week it was it was hard at first um and I had just lost not lost a friend but I had stopped being in touch with um someone who used to be my very best friend uh, that was very hard. It was very hard for me when I first got here because that it seemed like that was all I was thinking about. Like we had a very solid friendship and our friendship kind of like ended over something so small. And I wish it never happened, but you know, that's life. Like I had this whole mindset of I didn't want to get close to anyone because like my whole mindset of, you know, people just leaving out your life. So it was really hard for me to kind of like make friends that were like, but it's it's different now. You all got friends, okay? I met a lot of people. I meet a lot of people, and I'm thankful for those that I have met this year. Definitely for those who are looking to come here, just know that you have to apply yourself when it comes to meeting people. Can't speak on what it is, but just know that's what it is i can't wait to tell you guys i can't wait to inform you guys about it so just know that i have something in store for you guys i can only pray that my experience here at famu florida agricultural mechanical university october 3rd 1887 what i pray that my experience here next year will be a thousand times better because that will be yes next fall will be my senior <laughs> next fall will be my senior year y'all and i cannot wait like it's gonna be a movie. Y'all see how I was when I graduated at St. Petersburg College, y'all. I'm gonna go so hard next year. My graduation picture is gonna be A1. I don't let Corona 2 come next year. I don't care. Me and Corona gonna take pictures together, pool. I think this basically wraps up today's video. Um, I will make sure to try to get some vlogs out for you guys as well as as well as more like sit down videos. Um since I'm gonna be on quarantine, might as well do some videos for y'all. 
so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys are doing okay i pray that you guys are healthy make sure you guys keep wash your hands and stay inside stay home listen to the news and just yeah so i guess i will see you guys in my next video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below video suggestions and stay tuned for more videos and i will see you guys in my next video all right bye y'all <laughs>